Hey, I'm an appreciation enthusiast, and today we had a new Kanye West album, Jesus is King, after a long time of pushbacks and delays. But we have it now, and it is here, and it is a gospel album now. Uh, you, you know, last year it was supposed to be Yandi, and uh, I never did. So now we have Jesus is King, which by the name you can figure out is very religious uh, based. Uh, these, this album takes a lot of the tones from Kanye's religious uh, songs like Jesus Watts and Ultralight Beam. Uh, so he already has his foot in the door when it comes to religion and music, but this kind of just like further cements his, his spot. Uh, it's 11 songs long, 27 minutes, very short. You know, within a half hour you're done. So it's not a lot. But uh, that's probably one of the biggest problems with the album, is that it is very short. Uh, you feel as if you're listening to basically a short, uh, you know, segment of what could be a, a bigger picture, which might happen in Christmas, because he did say he, was, he wants to release another album on Christmas Day. So we could see a bigger part of Jesus' King coming soon uh, this year. But this is our first album from Kanye West this year. And uh, I want to talk about my five favorite songs from it. So number five is Coldest on Sunday. This is that the Chick-fil-A song that people think is funny. Because it is. It's, it's, it's very ominous. I I think this beat is probably one of the best beats he's made in a while. It sounds a lot like a Jesus beat. Alright, so I kind of lost my recording of this ending part. So I'm just going to do it again from the top. Keep going with it. Alright, so my number four spot is Follow God, which is uh, really enjoyable. It's smooth, uh, slick. The, the beat is just wonderful. Uh, it samples Can You Lose by Following God by The Whole Truth from 1974. Uh, I really like the sample inclusion of this song. So that's my number four spot. My number three is Salah, which is one of the most hype songs on this album, if not the hypest song of the album. Uh, it has the hard-hitting drums, it has the message, and it has the whole hype factor that surrounds it. Uh, it's just a hard-hitter. Great song for number three. Number two is Everything We Need, which was originally The Storm from the Yandi Week, or leaks that came out uh, in the previous months of Yandi, apparently. And uh, this is Ty Dolla Sign and Aunt Clemens on this one. Uh, Ty Dolla Sign steals a show with this song. This is 100% his song. Uh, I would say Kanye is the feature of this of the song, definitely. Ty Dolla Sign just takes this one away. Uh, my last favorite song, my number one spot, is Use This Gospel, which was originally Law of Attraction from the Yandi Week. Uh, they actually took the song and did turn it into a Jesus is King song. So uh, you can, there's, if you listen to the original one, you can hear some, a lot of simul similarities, a lot of differences. So it may not match up with what you thought you heard the first time. Uh, that's because it is a uh, recreation of a song. Or a transition, more or less. But uh, it also features Clips, which is Pusha T and his brother No Malice. No Malice hasn't been rapping for uh, almost 10 years now, I think. And uh, Pusha T was always steals the show in this one. Uh, he better than his brother, better than Kanye in this. Uh, just overall a great from great verse from Pusha T. Uh, Kenny G shows up at the end. Uh, my favorite instrument is a saxophone. So Kenny G, you know I like what you do. Thank you for being on this album. You're a legend. <laughs> and uh, overall, uh, Jesus is King is a pretty good album. Uh, it is different because it is religious. And I know Kanye West said he wanted to do just religious stuff moving forward. Which means that this is, you know, the foundation for where we're only going to go up, you know, because he wants to go higher with this religious uh, uh, gospel sound. So if this is true, you know, we're going to see more evolution of this sound, you know, probably even a perfectionist take on it soon enough. And uh, I think this is a good album to listen to, like I said. Uh, not good for a new Kanye West fan. I would not start here. 
I would start with the originals, like My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, or 808s and Heartbreaks, Graduation. Those are the more entry-level stuff, I think. And this is way more advanced because of the topic and the sound. And it's just, it's not a Kanye you can just dive into. You have to understand Kanye to understand what, where he's coming from on this religious journey he's on, his pilgrimage. But besides that, I think it's a good album. Uh, I would recommend it. Definitely. Uh, you know, if you do like, comment, subscribe on this video. Uh, and subscribe to my channel. That would help a lot. Uh, leave comments for feedback. I would like to know how I'm doing. You know, what you want to hear from me. And uh, definitely just put in your input. It, it helps a lot. And uh, thank you and have a nice day.